Determine the slope of the line below using the triangle shown. Now, here's our line. It's the black line going across that has this arrow here. I just missed it, so I'm actually going to erase it. Now you know what line we're talking about, though. And when we find slope, what we're looking for is the amount of rise, how much does it go up, per the amount of run, how far it goes across. And we have two triangles I can see. We have this little red triangle, and then we have the larger blue triangle that actually goes across and up. And we're going to find the slope of both of them, because I want to show you something here. So let's start with the red triangle. First question is, how much does it rise? Well, from where we start in the red triangle here to where the red triangle ends right here, it only went up a distance of 1. So the rise is 1. How far did it go over is the question. Well, starts here, ends here. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 1 fourth. That is the distance or the slope of using the red triangle as an aid. Now let's switch over to the blue triangle. The blue triangle also starts here, but it goes up until this line, which is met right here. So its rise is 1, 2, 3, 4, and its run starts right here and ends all the way over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 4 sixteenths. Now, 4 sixteenths I could actually simplify by dividing both sides by 4. They're both divisible by 4 to get 1 fourth. Notice how using triangles, we find the exact slope regardless of how long the triangles are because the line that they fall on is always headed in the same direction with a slope of 1 fourth.